Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone and in this video we're gonna be going over the top five fastest killing guns on Rebirth Island after the recent update. Now we're gonna be taking a look at a lot of Vanguard weapons in this video. I do understand a lot of people are not really fans of the Vanguard guns because number one they take a long time to level up and the reward factor after you do level them up isn't there right now. But the weapons are still incredibly fun to use, and it's nice to kind of step away from the current OTS-9 and the EM-2 meta. So, with that being said, the like goal on this video has to be 500 likes. If we can get 500 likes in this video, that'd be absolutely incredible. And if you guys want to stick to date with any and all best class setup, best settings, tips and tricks, or any new updates that you go live here in Warzone or Vanguard if you guys are playing that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications, and uh, become part of the year's family. Let's go ahead and break down these classes. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the bar and the PPSH. This is in my opinion one of the best loadouts to run right now here on Rebirth Island after the recent update. Now I made a tweak to my bar class setup and that's gonna be the MX silencer. So we have sound suppression and accuracy. The CGC XL barrel, so we have recoil control and accuracy. Reduced scopes weight and gun bob as well as flinch resistance. I'm now running the M1930 Strife Angle to have accuracy, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. I'm taking off the M1941 hand stop because I want to go ahead and also have some stability on my class setup. I've been finding myself winning a lot more long range gunfights using this setup with the bar, so definitely go ahead and give this a try if you guys have not already. I'm running the 8mm Clauser 30 round magazine, so I have recoil control and accuracy movement speed, aim down sight speed, and fire rate. I have on the lengthened ammo type, so I have bullet velocity. I'm running the G16 2.5X optic, because this is actually gonna go ahead and add accuracy and recoil control, as well as a cleaner optic picture. I'm running the rubber grip for recoil control, the Chariot WR stock for more accuracy, flinch resistance, recoil control, and aiming stability. And for my perks, I have on hard scope for additional accuracy and recoil control, as well as fully loaded. Accuracy, recoil control, and fire rate are all the things you need on these Vanguard weapons. That's how you build a very solid Vanguard weapon here for Warzone, and especially on Rebirth Island. So let me go ahead and give this bar class setup a try. Now for the PPSH, we're going to be rocking it with the recoil booster for fire rate, the Empress 140mm rapid barrel for more fire rate, we have on the Carver foregrip for recoil control as well as hip fire accuracy, we have on the Gorenko 71 round drum because we do not want to go ahead and reduce the damage with the Nambu rounds, we're running hollow point for limb damage, this is fantastic on SMGs because if people jump shot, you're going to get a quicker kill because you're going to hit their legs. I have the upgraded iron sight because I want to have increased aim down sight speed and I like the upgraded iron sights on Warzone. I'm running the stippled grip so I have a recoil recovery and also initial firing recoil control. I have on the Zack folding stock so I have initial firing recoil control as well. Aim down sight speed as well as hip fire or excuse me recoil recovery. If my perks I'm running tight grip for more recoil control and then fully loaded. Overall, a great PPSH class setup you guys can go ahead and use if you guys are trying to run and gun, be aggressive, and just hip fire and mow enemies down at close range. Now, for my perks, I'm running Double Time Overkill Combat Scout, and I have on the Throwing Knife as well as the Stun Grenade. I run the same exact perks, lethal and tactical, on all of my Warzone class setups for Rebirth Island. Now, for class number two, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the STG-44, which is a very solid AR on this game. Now, I went ahead and tweaked my STG-44 class setup again. I'm running the MX Silencer. I have on the VDD barrel, so I have increased highly accurate recoil control, reduced scope sway and gun bob, as well as damage range. Now, for the under barrel, I am, again, running the M1930 Stripe Angle. I've kind of went ahead and switched to the M1930 Stripe Angle for a lot of the lower recoil ARs instead of running the M1941 hand stop. I'm running the Russian 30 caliber rounds so I have additional damage which actually works out quite well on the STG44. I really like running this over just the 60 round drum because I found myself winning a lot more close range gunfights and honestly sometimes you just have to run in those gunfights so having this is going to be a super important attachment on the STG. I'm running the lengthened ammo type. I have in the G16 2.5X optic. I have on the rubber grip for additional recoil control. The, DD, the VDD weighted stock, so I have accuracy, 
flinch resistance, recoil control, and aiming stability. And for my perks, I'm running acrobatic, so I've increased movement speed and sprinting move speed because none of these other perks are going to be helping us out for this weapon. And I'm also running fully loaded again on this class setup. Just overall, a solid SCG build that I think you guys will definitely be able to get your first couple wins with. It's a solid setup. It's good at close range, medium range, and long range. It doesn't have too much recoil. Now, for the MP40, here is what I like to run on this gun. This is, in my opinion, one of the best SMGs in the entire game, right next to the OTS-9. So, for the MP40, I'm running it with the Recoil Booster, the Kruznik Sparrow, so I have highly accurate and controllable, and reduced scope sway and gun bob. I have on the M1941 hand stop for recoil control and accuracy. On this SMG, I like to run the M1941 hand stop. I'm running the Gorenko 45 round magazine, so I have increased fire rate. Overall, this is the best magazine on the MP40. If you guys are not running the fire rate rounds on the MP40, I don't know what you guys are doing. This is literally how you make this SMG an absolute monster. I'm running hollow point as my ammunition. Great for limb damage. The slate reflector because I want to have a cleaner optic picture. I do not like to run the iron sights on the MP40 for Warzone. I'm running the fabric grips. So I've increased aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, as well as hip fire accuracy. I have on the Kruznik folding stock for sprint to fire speed and movement speed. And for my perks, I'm running brace for initial recoil control as well as fully loaded. This class setup has incredible movement. And most importantly, it has no recoil. This is the best MP40 setup you can use in the entire game. We're not running any of that incendiary rounds nonsense. That's scummy. This is going to be a setup that you guys can use if you want to have a fast, low recoil SMG. Now, for the third class setup, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the, whew, the Automaton, man. The Automaton, it's one of those guns where I feel like a lot of people don't run because they're not running the right setup right now. For the Automaton, you want to run a lot of the recoil controlling attachments. That's what we're going to go ahead and put on the G28 Compensator for recoil control. I'm running the Zack Barrel, so we have additional accuracy and recoil control, as well as reduced scope sway and gun bob. I'm going ahead and putting on the still in the M1941 hand step because this gun did receive a nerf. So we're going to have to reduce that recoil down as much as we can. I'm running the 75 round drum, which works out fantastic on this AR. I have in the lengthened ammo type, the rubber grip for more recoil control, the G16 optic for recoil control and a clean optic picture. I have on the Zack Skeletal, so I've increased aim walking movement speed aim walkie steadiness and initial firing recoil control i'm running the tight grip for even more recoil control and then finally fully loaded this is a very good loud and proud no recoil ar that honestly i've been getting a lot of high kill games with. i dropped a 20 plus kill game on caldera running this exact same setup and i think you guys should definitely go ahead and give this a try it works out fantastic on both maps rebirth and caldera so definitely go ahead Give this a go, and I think you guys will definitely be able to get a win with it. Now, for the secondary, I'm still running the MP40 on this build. I have on the same exact class setup, Recoil Booster, the Kruznik Sparrow, M1941 Hand Stop, the Gorenko Rounds, Hollow Point, Slate Reflector, Fabric, Kruznik, Brace, and Fully Loaded. Overall, a solid setup that you guys should definitely go ahead and give a try and, you know, get a couple wins with. Now, for class number four, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the NZ41, another good setup. I went ahead and tweaked with my NZ41 build again because this is something you're going to have to do when kind of messing around with attachments to figure out what is actually working out well. So, for the NZ41, I'm running it with the G28 cops here to keep that recoil down. The open weaver barrel for more accuracy and recoil control as well as reduced scope sway and gun bomb. I'm still running the M1941 hand stop on this weapon to keep the recoil to an absolute minimum i'm running the clauser 40 round round same reason i run this on my mp40 i'm running it on the nz41 recoil control as well as fire is going to be key on this ar that they go ahead and give this a try i have on the lengthen ammo type the g16 2.5 x optic the rubber grip the overweaver e-pack for even more recoil control brace for even more recoil control as well as fully loaded this is a no recoil nz41 class setup that's loud and proud it runs rebirth island this is going to be compatible with the stg44 for so definitely go ahead and give this a try if you guys have not ran the nz this is a slept on ar this gun is so slept on the ground loot nz is very good this is like an even better version of the ground loot variant so definitely go ahead and give this a go i think you guys will definitely enjoy the nz if you guys actually make a proper class setup here on Rebirth Island. 
And for my secondary, I had to go ahead and throw on the OTS-9 for this specific build because the OTS is just too nasty to not go ahead and throw on this class setup. I have on the Groove Suppressor, I'm running the 8.1 inch Task Force Barrel, the Tiger Team Spotlight, the VDD or VVD 40 round Fast Mag, and then I'm running the KGB Skeletal Stock. Overall, a very solid SMG. Honestly, if they do anything to the MP40, this is going to be the meta SMG again. I, I mean, it still technically is. The MP40 is right there with it, but the OTS-9 is just too nasty. It's too consistent, and I understand why people are still running it. It's just it's just too good here in Wars, and they probably should patch it again, but hell, we'll see what they do. And then for the final class, we'll go ahead and take a look at the XM4 and the Cooper Carbine. This is by far the best setup in the entire game hands down the best they are in warzone as of right now we have with the agency suppressor we're running the 13.5 inch task force barrel the field agent grip the stenag 60 round drum as well as the axle arms 3x optic overall a very very good attachment set up to run on the xm4 it has no recoil very fast fire rate and it also packs a punch and gets a quick ttk i love this ar honestly it's the best ar in my personal opinion yes it is a cold war weapon but this is literally one of the best and most consistent ars in the entire game and for the secondary the cooper carbine is going to be running the show in my personal opinion we have in that recoil booster running the gracie rapid so we have increased fire rate hit fire actually and headshot damage M1941 hands have to go ahead and keep the recoil down. The 60 round drum, the compressed rounds for even more fire rate. The slate reflector, I'm running the rubber grip for recoil control. The removed stock for movement speed, sprint to fire speed, and aim down sight speed. And I'm running vital for increased torso damage and fully loaded. This class setup is going to get you your first high kill win. It got me my highest kill win here on rebirth island i think you guys should definitely go ahead and check this out because you guys will be able to do it as well this is a nasty nasty setup xm4 cooper carbine you cannot go wrong with this at all these are gonna be the top five fastest killing guns for rebirth island right now after the recent update give these a go i think you guys will definitely go ahead and enjoy them and if you guys did enjoy this video and uh maybe go ahead and check these classes out and get your first win come back let me know and yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn those post notifications. We'll catch y'all in the next video. Deuces.